Hey, Madeline. Hey, Oliver. Who should study visual arts? I think anyone who's really interested in developing their creativity, critical insight. I always think it's a really good study option for people that are hands-on. Experimentation is crucial, and that's what we do in the studios, right? Yeah, it's great. That's where it's all hands-on. Madeline, can you do a major, and what are the options? First, you can major in visual arts and... Under visual arts, we've got a great selection of different areas of emphasis. We've got jewellery, painting, print media, photo media, sculpture, and even screen arts. If you decide to do a double major, you can practically major in anything else um, that the university offers. So you can actually choose to major in, say, a science subject or anything from the arts in general, education. Well, I think that's really exciting. I think it's going to make uh, for more interesting artists in the future. So, Oliver, what are the entry requirements? Well, as well as uh, going through the general admissions process in terms of an ATAR and uh, the standard application. We also uh, look at applicants' portfolio. So they put together 10 images and write a short statement about one of their creative projects that they've already uh, undertaken. And that gives us an opportunity to gauge their experience and their potential. So rather than seeing that as an extra hurdle, it actually means we get to know the students as they come into uh, the degree. And we also use that process as a means to give feedback on the portfolio itself, and also to educate potential applicants about the uh, content and nature of the course. Does the university have very many industry connections, Oliver? Yeah, look, Sydney College of the Arts is part of the whole institution here and there's museums and galleries on campus. So that's a, a very direct part of the network. And the uh, staff and alum at uh, Sydney College of the Arts are involved in all the gallery and museums, Sydney-wide, state-wide, Australia-wide. So there's sort of a really healthy network there. We also offer units of study where students get to undertake uh, professional placements within that sort of uh, context and also further afield. So there's a more fluid relationship between uh, tertiary education and the professional sphere and we really try and uh, promote that for students so that they become exhibiting artists whilst they're studying and also connect to the uh, broader creative industries. What are the best aspects of the course? Can you think of any other course where you get to form your own agenda? Uh, another fantastic thing about the course is that you're able to develop your own work and be the creative individual you've always dreamed of being. Uh, like, there's nothing better to answer the big questions that this world poses than art. If you do any degree in philosophy or science, you'll find that we still don't know what memory is, what consciousness is, why we're all here. And I think art through metaphor and analogy can begin to get close to those answers more than any other discipline. I just remember as a student, I just loved being in the studio. Yeah. And I also remember talking to other people studying, particularly in first year, mm. they'd uh, undertake degrees when they're a really big cohort and that took a long time to get to know other people. Mm. But within visual arts, you meet all your uh, peers straight away, you get to know them, and you get to know the lecturing staff who are all practising artists. So it's a really great environment, and coming from a rural area and moving to Sydney, I found that quite, uh, that sort of personal connection meant there was an easier transition to uh, living in an international city, essentially. What social opportunities have you had? Well, the studio itself is a living network um, of sorts, so whenever you're making art, you're sort of... Uh, interacting with your peers and talking to each other about your work. Uh, in addition to that, you get to go on excursions. So lecturers will often uh, accompany students to see exhibitions all through uh, the city and sometimes even nationally. You get to have exhibitions where you actually mount uh, your own work in different gallery spaces and exhibit it to the public. There's also opportunity for exchange and to do residencies overseas. Oliver, are there any scholarships available? Well, Sydney College of the Arts is part of all of the University of Sydney uh, admissions programs, so that's sort of all part of the application process. But we also offer scholarships specifically uh, for visual arts students, and they operate from first year upwards. Uh, some of them are about uh, materials within the sort of studio context. Some relate to the degree show and uh, finishing your degree. Others are uh, supporting uh, exchange and uh, scholarships to travel and take residencies as a postgraduate student. So we have a, a whole range of offerings there to support people. And it's really about looking at the uh, student moving out into the broader sphere or the 
the, the world as artists. A day in the life of a, a student, Madeline. Tell us about uh, the visual arts experience for a student. I can't remember a more inspiring time than the time I spent in the studio at Art College. Yeah. Just like the high that you get when you're making a thing and you're fully enme enmeshed in the whole experience. It's like that flow, that flow that you get when it's all coming together. There's nothing more satisfying. Madeline, what do you like most about living in Sydney? I love living in Sydney. It is full of amazing museums and it has an extraordinary uh, gallery culture. There's lots of openings on all the time. Uh, there's an amazing street culture as well. Uh, I was completely enamoured by the extraordinary international exhibitions that come into our major institutions such as the Art Gallery of New South Wales, the Museum of Cont Contemporary Art and um, other places like Carriage Works. All of these venues are a stone's throw from where the Sydney College of the Arts will be uh, next year when we enter our new building. And um, it's just like completely inspiring to be around all that. So what do you like about living in Sydney? I really like the light in Sydney. Uh, it's glittering here. I love the harbour. I can't get enough of Sydney Harbour. And I know it's the classic sort of tourist spot the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, Circular Quay. I love going down there. Mm -hmm. Lots of great food in Sydney. And I remember that sort of uh, the buzz of coming to a truly multicultural uh, city uh, coming from rural New South Wales was really exciting for me. It kind mm -hmm. of uh, it really sort of primed me for uh, wanting to travel and learn about cultures all around the world. And it's sort of the inner city. There's lots of different pockets and microcultures you can move around in lots of different places. Uh, so Sydney's a really great place to do, sort of discover all sorts of things. I also think it's a really great spot to launch into New South Wales. So the Blue Mountains are not far away mm -hmm. and you can go and see some really amazing things there. Up and down the coast, you can access that from Sydney. So it's mm -hmm. a really great spot for a student to sort of get a, a taste of Australia more broadly.